क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इट रीड्स रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडिसिस ऑफ टू वेराइटीज ऑफ ग्लास ए एंड बी डिपेंड ऑन वेव लेंथ ऑफ लाइट अकॉर्डिंग टू द फॉलोइंग रिलेशन वेयर लेमडा नॉट इज वेव लेंथ फॉर द येलो कलर लाइट एंड अ क्रोमैटिक कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लेंसेज इज मेड फ्रॉम दीज मटीरियल्स रेडियाई ऑफ कर्वेचर ऑफ द आउटर सर्फेसिस ऑफ द कॉम्बिनेशन इज गिवेन एज आर वन आर टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर ऑफ द कॉमन सर्फेस ना फॉर अक्रोमैटिक कॉम्बिनेशन वी टेक वन कॉन्वेक्स लेंस एंड अनदर कॉन्केव लेंस एंड दिस इज द कॉमन सर्फेस सो दिस कॉमन सर्फेस एज द रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर इट्स ए स्मॉलर दिस आउटर सर्फेस रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर आर वन आर टूज आर नोन टू अस और गिवन टू अस we need to find out this r now you'll find uh, let's say this is of a material this is of b material there is a condition for achromatic combination of lenses that condition is omega 1 f1 plus omega 2 f2 is equal to 0 this can be remembered or this can be uh, de derived as well so uh, this condition we are going to use directly i'm not going going for derivation as of now you can just uh, start from here and if you want you can derive it otherwise you can remember it as of now so omega is the dispersive power and the f is the focal length now omega dispersive power is given by uh, mu v minus mu r divided by mu y minus 1 and focal length is given by lens maker formula that we know and we use the color y yellow color now we will be trying to calculate this number then this number then we will be putting in this expression to get the value of small r omega 1 by f1 omega is going to be mu v minus mu r so mu violet for violet color we will be using the violet wavelength for red color we are going to use the red wavelength in the expression so for violet color it will be like uh, mu a0 minus beta a lambda v minus lambda not for red it will be lambda r and uh, this was uh, mu v minus mu r in denominator we are having mu y minus 1 and in focal length we also have mu y minus 1 and the radius uh, of curvature we need to write for the first light rays are coming here so you will find this is going to be positive so 1 upon r1 minus this r2 is going to be negative direction so it's going to be minus r you will find this these two numbers are getting cancelled out and you further see that these two constants are getting cancelled out moreover ba lambda not ba lambda not will get cancelled out so it gets simplified as beta a lambda r minus lambda v within bracket 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r so that is this value now we can also write this omega 2 by f2 by using the similar thing and we will find uh, in this case in this time we need to use this uh, expression is very identical so you will be finding that it turn out to be um, lambda uh, this beta b lambda r minus lambda v and the focal length portion will be like minus 1 upon r minus 1 upon r2 so that will bring a minus with it now then uh, we can go for this expression and we can put these values on this when we put these values then we'll find further it will be simplifying it will be getting cancelled these difference of the wavelengths so it will be simply uh, this expression that means there will be small r r1 r2 beta and beta v and we can simplify and rearrange to this which turn out to be r is equal to r1 r2 beta a minus beta b divided by r1 beta b minus r2 beta a and when we are going to compare over there then you'll find this a option is going to match more appropriately However, there is a minus difference we can see. So you can say this is the radius of curvature. We are bothering about the mod value. So whatever the positive value, this a is going to give the same positive value is going to be coming from here. So we can happily choose a option. So a is the correct response. Thank you.